hello everyone so welcome to my video and in this video we're going to add an extra feature so that we can edit our image you can see right now we have an options to delete our image but uh, this is not a correct way so in this video we want to give an options so that you can simply edit image to replace with another image so if you want to add this feature we have to first import uh two component one is the media upload and second one is the media upload check and since we want to add this as a block controls so we will check our url is exist or not so we want to add to this uh toolbar inside this area toolbar group so first we will check the media upload check show media upload check and inside this component we will call the media upload and it has some property uh, properties first one is the one select function so it works like the placeholder or uh, i mean the media placeholder uh, it works something like this one so why want to call this one first and we will only allow also the ms and most important part is that we have to use an ID as the value of this media float and this ID will be our image ID already we know that we have an attribute with our image ID this ID is the uploaded image ID so we want to use this as value of this field and secondly we have a render functions so keep in mind you have to use a render functions and inside the sender function we are getting an argument that is called uh, open so we will pass this open and say this toolbar and it will when we will click on this toolbar uh, icon then it will open this uh, argument that's why we will open this uh, in our gallery and we will be able to easily update our image so this is the main tricks that you have to use a render function and inside this render function we have an another function as an argument and that is called argument or you can say the parameter this is the open function so we are passing this open function when we will click on this button then this open function will be fired so by giving this an icon that icon is our unit icons that's it so this is our basic structure i want to recap again first we are checking this our url is exist or not when we getting this our url is available that's mean we are using an image that's mean we have already an image upload then we will give this option to edit the image uh, we have to refer this with this media upload check component this is the first one and secondly since this uh, purpose of this image editing is to upload a new image so we will add the media upload the benefit of this using this component that it has an uh, parameter that's mean that accept a function that is called on uh, this function will help us to update our new ms information like the url id and the auto tag we are checking the basic checking i mean this is the we will allow to upload ms and most important part is the value that's mean what will be the value of this uh, field we are passing the value of this image i mean this ms id and fourth important part is that we have a render function and inside this render functions we have a parameter and that is a open function you have to use the same name because it is uh the default things default function so we never can sense this so we have to reuse master this often and we are passing a toolbar button and when this toolbar button will be clicked then the function will be executed so this is the basic uh, logic so if we run this and go back to the editor and refresh 
we can see there is a new button toolbar button and that is our edit icons when you really click on this icon you can see uh, this is our present image and it is selected and if you check this one then we will select one you can see our image information are changed and if you update and see the result we see our image is sensed you can see our image is sensed uh, again if you want to reduce uh, this one simply select update and refresh yeah you can see our new image is edited so this is the simple way to add the editing functionality to your media library in the next video we will discuss about how you can manage the multiple images thank you